Sway in the morning, say four or five, man. I, I, I like, I like speaking my, my, my heart and my emotions on the air live, Heather B, because I, I really it. don't give a damn no more at that stage of life. And there's certain individuals that need uh, constant recognition and the audience need constant reminders in this quick fix mm-hmm. uh, mentality that we that we've grown to become accustomed to. Mm-hmm. But here we have today. Rem- I remember when I first came to Sirius XM and uh, they were asking me to come for about a year. Uh, Reggie Hawkins was, was asking Paul Rose. Well, Reggie asked me first and then Paul and uh, Reef came on board and and I, and I said, you know what, if I could come up here and be creative and do whatever I want to do and, and have whoever I want to have for the reasons I want to have them on, then, yeah, look, I have no problem. I've done terrestrial radio for nearly 20 years. So mm-hmm. I, I know that game. I know what they're dealing with. I know those politics. And uh, I said, I want to launch it off right. Somebody who's going to personify what this show is going to be about. When we first started the Wake Up Show in 1991, King Tech and I. The first song we ever played was Live at the Barbecue, mm. um, produced by Large Professor Akinelli. Nas was on there. Nas mm-hmm. had the first verse. And we wanted the world to know this is going to set the tone of what this show is going to be all about. Right, right. When I came to Sirius XM, the first artist I wanted to premiere the show with was fabulous wow. three years ago because I wow. wanted the world to know this is the tone of MC. We want to set this movement off with. We weren't able to do it. Mm-hmm. Fast forward three years later, now we're finally able to do it. Fabulous is here, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Salute man. to you, Fab. See, right. th- this is why Sway is, is, is the god, man. Talk about he, it. The intro like that, you know what I'm saying? I, I, don't, I don't even know where to where to go, man. I, it just, you know, we, me and Sway kick it even off air, and, and we've had numerous conversations about hip-hop about life and um you know th- this is one of the guys that i don't even just look at just as a hip-hop guy man mm-hmm. like i truly enjoy our conversations yeah. i enjoy seeing you man it's always a bright moment in my day you know what i'm saying so i appreciate even this is even though this is my first time i've been a fan of the show i've been watching i see what's <laughs> going on i always been you know rooting for you from 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 home from online just watching it so i definitely you know and proud to be here, man. Oh, and, you, man. And, and yeah. you know, it, 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 was, it was one of those shows that you that you want to do as well. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? This isn't, isn't just a promo run for mm-hmm. me. You know what I'm saying? I always told you I wanted to come to the show. I wanted to come to the show when it was right. Yeah, you said that. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I wanted, I always want our moments to be special as well, too. So, you know, I want to, I, I'm happy to be here, man. Just to sum it all up, I'm happy to be here and be on the show. And, good, I, you know, by you saying you wanted me to be here, as one of you, as as the first from you first locking in with this show, man, and just make it even more special, bro. Well, you know, absolutely, man. And one of the reasons, man, I wanted you to set the bar so high mm-hmm. that it would filter out all whack rappers would right. be like shamed <laughs> right. to come up here, you know. So, because I could have used you as my poster right. child, man. Like, you, yeah, you're the not bar, just the, once the bar is set, you yeah. know, you either gonna jump and jump over it, or no. you're just gonna be reaching Ooh, for right, it, right? Right, and you can't, you can't get it. You might fall and hit your head. Um. I mentioned Nas being one of the first artists we played on the Wake Up Show, um, and I remember uh, having. When I was twelve. I went to hell for snuffing Jesus. Jesus. Oh man, man, that lyric right there. Um, and I remember when you were talking about recording Low Soul Way, two. Mm-hmm. And back then you said that you and Nas were going to collaborate. That never came out. Yeah. Um, but did you guys end up doing something for that project? We still we still in talks. One thing about me when I when I when I collab with people, I want it to be the right song. It's never mm-hmm. on paper thing for me. You know, it's never like uh, I look at it and just say, "Yo, I want to do." T- there's two guys that I want to collab with before my career is done, and it's Nas mm-hmm. and it's Eminem. And uh, just because of mm-hmm. you know where they mean what they mean to me um, lyrically. Um, just just i'm a i'm a lyric guy so those two guys you know just for me to do a song with them would you know be my highlight as a fan of hip-hop you Mm -hmm. know what i'm saying and um me and Nas, we we have a we have a really cool relationship. Just kick it back. We don't we don't even be talking that much about the collab. And I like I like that because it builds the relation mm-hmm. for you when you go do the song. You know what I'm saying? You kind of know what to what to move off. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I, and you know that's that's the vibe that you used to get back in the days when when 
people used to go in the studio and vibe for a little bit, get yeah. some drinks, and you know, I've I've seen pictures of uh, I don't know if Biggie and Nas had a real real collaboration, yeah. but you've seen pictures of them in the studio, and that mm -hmm. probably was them kicking it, trying to get mm -hmm. to that place. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Of doing a collaboration, and that that's how I want. You know, we haven't sat in a studio and kicked it, but we've, you know, kicked it all around. We've been in the club. We've been at his shows. We've yeah. been backstage. We've been, you know what I'm saying, at dinner. We've done all of those kind of things to even build a relationship. So I think when, when we do do that collaboration, it'll be a golden one. That's going to be a banger. Right. Uh, the one thing I like about you, too, is what, what he said. It's like when he hangs out with Nas, the conversation ain't necessarily about that. Mm -hmm. You could bring up any topic with Fabulous and have a conversation, yeah. you know, whether it's politics whether it's fashion, you know, women, whatever the case may be, the conversation is like you talking to the homie. Right. Yeah. You know, uh, you said Eminem and Nas are the two people you like to collaborate with. Mm -hmm. We had Chris Rock up here um, maybe a week ago. Mm -hmm. Did you see Top 5? I did. You, did you see my cameo? I did see your cameo. You know what I'm saying? I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. How you snuck that in there? Yeah, yeah, you saw him. He did, did some low. That was that low It was low like a shit. bounce pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, wasn't, it wasn't flashy <laughs> around the back. It was just a bounce pass, oh, you know, sure. you easy layup yeah, yeah. kind of thing. You, you know? see me? Thank you, man. I did see you <laughs> in this way. Pippin' Jordan right there. I mean, uh, you, I mean you, th you, you one of those guys, if, if hip-hop is in the conversation that, you know, you... You find a way to be in it because it's you know you 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 so deeply rooted in hip hop. So you know, I definitely you know at first I kind of didn't get why I was called top five though. Yeah, yeah. I definitely seen the you know the top five talks in the what's the name, but I was like this movie goes so many different places. Yeah. But it was cool at the same time too because that's also back to our culture. That's a big conversation all you know? the time. So, right. It's, um, so I want to ask you this. You said Eminem and, collab uh, and um, Nas, you like to collaborate. One of the things Chris Rock said is we had him, we did this game, um, and he had to choose who he thought, and we would pit comedians together, mm -hmm. um, who he thought was the top in those collaborations. And one of the things he said that I found really interesting, when the Dave Chappelle name came up, he said, woo, if mm -hmm. there's any comedian that I fear to be on stage with mm -hmm. or after, uh, it would be Dave Chappelle. Mm -hmm. I still have to take him out, mm -hmm. but he's the one I would fear. Right. Um, meaning not necessarily fear, but that he gives the most yeah. props. Who's that lyricist that if you pitted yourself against, who are those lyricists, like those five lyricists, if there are five, that you go, ooh, I got to study my game right? I think definitely Eminem and Nas would be uh -huh. two of that caliber. I feel like, you know, just because they're range too you know what i'm saying they could talk in so many you know nas can get in get in his escobar mm -hmm. street nas mode mm -hmm. and he mm -hmm. could also drop a jewel on you he could you know and eminem has he's he he's just so uncanny with his wordplay yeah. and you know clever things that he comes up with and you know it doesn't hurt that he's white and, mm -hmm. and you know <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> that always adds an extra you know what i'm saying flip to his style and and uh, you know, just those two in general, man, I think any of those guys, those two guys, I would be on my, uh, I would be on my toes for. You, you have know to bring your A game, yeah, right? Yeah, you have to step it up. What about the younger guys? You did the Blah 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 remix with uh, Rich Homie Quan. Uh, yeah. You know, um, who, who are some of those younger lyricists that you think um, impress you? I think you? Cole, Cole is Cole. definitely yeah. uh, a guy who's, uh, 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 will give you a run for your money. And, you know, even, you know, you, you, like I'm not always competitive on the track, mm -hmm. uh, but I al also, you know, when I do songs with, I, I would like us to do the best song we can do together. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, mm -hmm. and as competitive to everybody else listening to the song, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like I don't want to do a, a collaboration and people look at our collaboration as mediocre in any kind of way. Mm -hmm. So you know, some it's a little competition in within the track, but it's also competition against everybody hearing it. I want them to put on the headphones. Woo, that Cole and Fab or. Yeah. You know, that Drake and Fab, you know, Drake and Cola, you know, of this generation, yeah. who I think is two of the top lyricists that, you know, are really about their, the lyricism and, mm -hmm. and really about the delivery of, of what they're saying and stuff like that, too. So uh, I would give, you know, those two that nod. You know. Fabulous is here, man. I want to play Lituation. Oh, yeah. And uh, there's a couple lines in, in, in the song that 
I, I literally went, woo, yeah. you know, gave you the uh, the squingy face. If I don't, if I don't do that, I feel like I've done something wrong. I don't, I don't know. There's, there's not many fabulous raps that you haven't heard one line that yeah. just. That's that's my challenge. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We we, as a rapper, you tell your story. A lot of times you're saying the same thing, but mm -hmm. in different ways. And mm -hmm. that's what I my challenge is is to to find new and creative ways, new flows, new ways to say your lifestyle, what you live in, what you're doing, what you're on. And um, also make you say, well, that line was, that was an ill line right yeah. there. And that's, yeah. that's what it is for me. That's what does it. You mind if I, I read a couple, it might be off a little be bit. Be my guess. All right. And if you, if you wanna, Any offness, I will get it you, back you, on. Fix it, okay, yeah. for me, thank you, fam. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, it's a movie, Get Your Goobers. Yeah. <laughs> Now, y'all know what Goobers are. You're, you're a fan of yeah. Goobers? Well, come here from back in the day. Yeah, Truthfully, yeah. I really don't like Goobers. But okay. I know how much Goobers went with when you go to the movies. Yeah. Goobers was one of the main candies, candies. at the movies. <laughs> okay. Okay. Then we go, yeah, it gets deep. Get your scuba. Yeah. <laughs> so scuba is a play on deep. Right. You know what scuba mean, right, Tracy? Yes. Way. Okay. Okay. Sim I, I, simple, but still wordplay. But still wordplay, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, I, now this is where I was. Conf I got the swipers in the gun shop. Yeah. So what are swipers? Swipers are like these scammers who do credit card scams. Mm. Oh, swipers! Oh. So they're able to. Oh, Lenny asked me that. Do credit card <laughs> swiping. <laughs> And you know, oh, they racking up. Okay, they going yeah. on a shopping spree at the gun okay. shop. Those are the guys who go in those stores and you know to get crash. things, and then okay. you yeah. get, you can right. get those things for half off. And <laughs> okay. Good okay. numbers. You want to know a swiper every now and then. Mm -hmm. Swipers are your friend at these times. Now look how timely this next line is. I got the swipers in the gun. Okay, it gets deep. Get your scuba. I got swipers in the gun shop. I got shooters. I got the shooters in the Uber. Yes. Mm. That's that's just like current because yeah. Uber right now is so big, and when you say Uber, you know what that is. But to have the shooters in the Uber, Uber? oh, I, I never heard that. That's, that's scary. <laughs> okay, that's that's scary and convenient at the same exactly. time. It's just, it's just but the, the convenience it, of that is just you know, and the Uber man might not even know he got the shooters in his Uber. Uber. The Uber yeah. man might you know? be the shooter. Too. But but if you if you if you charge the Uber <laughs> to one of the swipers credit cards, yeah, you don't get the trace. You don't oh, know what's going on. Oh, it's it's, it's, it's so on, many layers. It gets but, deep. Get your scuba sway. Oh, I'm, 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 yeah, but, but, but here's the line. Like I was smiling at this point, <laughs> and then this was the line that took it all the way home for me. Everything brand new, Lord Jamal Grand Pooba. Yeah. Mm. See that that's that's like you you got you got that might have went over the young guy's yeah, head. Yeah, right yeah, 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 that know? did. That's that's only for a select few. Yeah, that that's 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 just for the guys that that really know what's going no, on out here. Yeah. You want to tell them? Let's educate. It's good to educate. I mean, yeah, Grand Pooba, Lord, Lord, Lord Jamal, Jamal and Grand Pooba were in a group called Brand Nubians. Uh -huh. So the play on that is everything is brand new, but Lord Jamal. And Grand Pooba with him, brand new. Yeah, and I mean, this is science, man. Now. This is science. They calling me Fidel Castro, cash flow, and the link came from Cuba. Yeah, the, that's, the, that's the Cuban link. The Cuban kind of link. The link right came now, from yeah. Cuba, and he had the Cuban link oh, on. It's real. All right, Team Plastic. Yeah, like these the, are facts. These are not just lyrics. rhymes. They not right. just rhymes. Not right. just stories. You can you can wiki this. You okay. know, <laughs> these are facts. <laughs> All facts. <laughs> All right, uh, okay. <laughs> Team plastic, like the ass shots. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We ain't even got self-explanatory. Yeah. Plastic Glock Nine, get your ass shot. Right. Mm. Anybody need help with Sway, that? Sway, you wanted to be a rapper so bad, yo. Yeah. Sway get excited saying other nigga shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you say the fabulous. You don't that do that though. Do. All right, we gonna play situation yeah, yeah. right now. You wanna yeah. talk to fabulous? Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. Sway in the morning. Situation. I said it earlier. There's nobody more clever than this lyricist right here. Fabulous has joined us. The young OG. Just a big kid that likes to play with words. <laughs> <laughs> big kid again. rapper. The project comes out on Christmas? Yeah, Christmas Day. Um, it'll be available digitally. Um, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon. Um, yeah. 
Christmas Day, man. I I, I kind of developed this uh, want. I saw a void that you know music has slowed down coming out in fourth quarter of December and stuff like that. So I started releasing these mixtapes. So either I did one last year to Soul Tape Three on mm. Christmas Day, mm -hmm. and I did Soul Tape Two Classic. on Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. So people started looking to me to have these projects around this time. So this time. You know, I thought I gave y'all enough free mixtapes. I had to come back with, you know, mm -hmm. just, just just give your boy a little ten dollars this year, and but you know, yeah, man, I got you, man. I could donate you to the cause. You right now, I got ten on me. I mean, I would take. I don't want to do it to you on air, but I would take. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> I ain't mad at that. Uh, the concept. You know, I remember being at the Barclays and you were telling me about this concept. Yeah. Um, what's the concept? What's the motivation? Well, it was it was um. It's like themed, influenced, inspired by the 90s. Yeah. Um, that's kind of the golden era of hip hop for me. And um, uh, to me, it was a golden era of a lot of things. Fashion, you mm -hmm. know, the hip hop culture, mm -hmm. and, you know, the branding of, you know, hip hop moguls to me. You know what I'm saying? I think all of that came within the the uh, the 90s and um, but musically, it was a great time for hip hop. It was uh, it was diverse. Mm -hmm. It was gangster rap, it was backpack rap, it was flossy rap, it was, you know, whatever your cup of tea was, you know, it was, you, you know, you had a f had that flavor, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And um, with this project, it came about because a lot of people were sending me beats and uh, a lot of ideas and stuff just started com coming from those beats and, you know, some of the beats sounded kind of 90s vibe, some yeah. of them had little excerpts or samples, mm -hmm. some were actual flips of 90s records, so it... I got so many that it turned into its own project. It kind of created itself, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And I was working on Loso's Way too, but this ended up coming out of Loso's Way too. And I decided, well, since people are already waiting for something to come this December or November, and you know, we just started, we took a little bit of the attention off of Loso's Way too, focused on this, and we got it up. You know what's interesting about you, which I, I was telling Rich Homie Quan, um, when he asked me who had the best verse on blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. mm. And I had to shout out Rich Homie. Yeah, too, yeah. Man. And he was really excited about working with you. And I said, if you listen. He's on a project, too. Yeah. He's on this one? Yeah, yeah, he's on a okay. project, too. Okay. Um, uh, not to cut you off, no, some no, of the ahead. some of the, some of of the the stuff, you know, but being that it was so 90s, I didn't want to date it. So I had a lot of the features I uh, used a lot of guys from now uh -huh. and I kind of fused the 90s with 2014 kind of mm -hmm. so to say just mm -hmm. so that it would it would it would take us back down memory lane and also we could vibe to it but it would also educate the younger generation as well because they could look at a song or hear a song and uh see where the vibe came from they yeah. could they could if it was a flip they could look up and see like oh this Chris Brown and Fab joint was really Uchi Wally yeah you know from 99 you know what I'm saying so it, it, it educated them at the same time they could get some good music out of it well wow. and, and, and and that's what's interesting about you you you're one of the rare artists who you're kind of an anomaly in a sense or enigma mm -hmm. because it doesn't matter what era you're in, yep. mm. you're always fresh mm. and current. Yeah, you can't be stale out here. Right? St I mean, you stale could... and crusty is never the look you want to <laughs> you, you, you advertise. That's right? not the look, you know. But you adjust in a way, even on that Blah 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 remix, I, I, I can hear the style adjustment mm -hmm. to fit who you're rhyming with and to fit the yeah. exact sound. So you're cognizant of that, right? I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Some people want me to rap like uh, Breathe on you know booty shake music and it just <laughs> it doesn't work. work you have to alter to what you're doing you know it's you don't want to breathe on booty nah uh -huh. don't. <laughs> <Ooh. You> don't. <laughs> your face shouldn't be that close to any booty you know no, no. Uh, okay <laughs> so, <it's just laughs> so fam obviously we all have such a strong admiration from you because you just have this never ending stock of punchlines of verses of flows but Thank you know you. what really you're welcome you know what really made me say i want this guy to be my homie what Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> Twitter. Oh, because man. now, in 2014, you see Twitter beefs, not just with rappers, but with comedians, with actors. Mm -hmm. But when Twitter was still like the premier spot to see what your celebrities yeah. were doing, you were putting a lot like of people 09, in their place. 09 to about 2010. 2011, I was, I was a good Twitter guy to follow. I was Twitter really, king. I was, I was really on my Twitter shit back then. Let me know? give you an example. Anyone that just wants to go back in time. Uh-oh. <laughs> I remember you had like a 48 hour long tweet tirade with Soldier Boy. 
Oh, yeah, And yeah. you started this trending topic, hashtag soldiers coke habit. Wait, hold up, man. We prepared a whole thing for this mm. before you go into it, right? Mm. Didn't we? Yeah. Okay. Citizens, <laughs> get ready because the Twitter King Fabulous is going to give you a tutorial on how to win Twitter beefs. We Do you know what beef is? Right now on Sway in the Morning. Know what Twitter beef is? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I want to do tutorial. That's why I was like, let me just give an example from the past. But since you're like the original Twitter king, mm -hmm. I want to give you some examples that maybe like um, an artist or an actor, whomever, may deal with on social media and how they should respond to it. But so, say for instance, a peer is attacking you on Twitter. What route should you take? A peer, like your friend, or well, someone that's in the same industry as you. Um. I mean, truthfully, I guess you could have some fun with it. That's what I really used to do. It never was like actual um, beef with me, even though some other guys would take it. Like I never like threaten people on on it. Like I never been like, yo, when I see you, boy, it's on. I'm gonna, like, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Because that was corny to me. Like, <laughs> it's, it's like advertising it. If you was really gonna do it, you just gonna see them and do it. So. Yeah. Um, I think you could have fun with it. Uh, even the Soldier Boy thing. I've I've had some that seemed like beast, but it was really just you know jokes to me. It wasn't you know mm -hmm. I never was it never was uh, uh, anybody was should have been scared for their life or yeah. anything like that. Because you saw Twitter as just another source of entertainment. Yeah, you know it's it, I mean it's it's you don't want to get disrespected, but um at the same time you know just like regular people who are just on there you know they say anything they have your at name they they have the you know I guess their opinion or, mm -hmm. or you know or their voice and they could say it you know certain people are sensitive to you know what everybody says i'm i've become of course very uh nonchalant with twitter and not yeah. take everything so personal mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying if you a person that takes people's talks personal you're gonna have a problem with <laughs> on twitter, twitter. Yeah. yeah all right okay now what about if it's like a chick that gets at you like remember in 2009 when you had that little thing with joe budden and somaya reese Oh yeah, <laughs> I don't even know what that was over, but um, it was just you know it, it it's just be jokes for me. Like I just it was like hashtag fun then. Like it wasn't yeah. it wasn't really serious. I I didn't really even know Samaya Reese like that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I know Joe. You know um, I think she said something or something that you know just rubbed me the wrong way. And I don't I don't I don't like really like uh, disrespect people. So I don't I don't you know kind of tolerate people just saying anything about me because right. i i just offer the same respect that i you know that you put uh, out yeah, right right oh, but oh. in hindsight should you should a man even go after a chick or is it just like equal playing field yeah, yeah on a joking side why not are you planning a twitter beef <laughs> against fabulous like you nah, know, okay damn, yeah, son, she, she, right. she would win right now <laughs> I'm, 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 you, I'm you got tired of energy okay. <laughs> um we got a crown of Go ahead. We got a few callers. Patrick from California is on the line. Uh, say what up to uh, Fabulous. Go ahead, Patrick. Fab, What's bro. going on? What's up, bro? Man, hey, you've been putting out music forever, bro. Everything's always been a classic. I'm from the West Coast, man, and I've always been rocking with you. From Ghetto Fab to all the whole, the whole genre that you've been killing on this, man. It's just, it's just been beautiful, man. And I just want to say that I appreciate you. Always coming down, putting down quality music. That's you know what I'm love, saying? Man. Sway, 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 you hit, it, you, hit, you hit the money on this one, Sway. Uh, you know what hey, man, I, 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 I've been whack up until this point, dog, but now I'm, <laughs> I'm batting a thousand, man. Uh, Megan, good morning. How you doing? Good. How are you? Doing well. Say hello to Fabulous. Hello. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Megan. Well, I was just wanting to let you know, first of all, I was always a fan of your music. Um, I liked your commercial stuff. So Appreciate my husband that. actually um, introduced me to your mixtape, and I fell in love. <laughs> That's wow. all I listen to now. So I was just wondering, are you going to be doing a soul tape pretty soon? or? Um, I kind of wanted to end the soul tape series as a, as a trilogy. I mean, I know a lot of people have, um, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's got a following, and people would love it to go on forever. And have like um like saw movies where they just like soul tape eight, you know what I mean? But <laughs> yeah. um I kinda just I, I felt like a trilogy of it would be cool. I, I may revisit it, you know, later on and, and maybe do something special. Uh but you know, I don't think it's gonna be a soul tape four. Let me ask you this, man, because I remember when one of those times Jay announced his retirement. Mm -hmm. Um I don't know how many years ago that was, but we were all just, you know how. Come back playing the four or five. It ain't to play games with you. Right? Yeah, that was. 
that was right. the encore. The yeah. encore. And we were like, well, who's going to be the next? You know, because in mm -hmm. New York, it's always the king of New York. Right. You know, mm -hmm. um, and everybody, a lot of us was like, that's fabulous. Right. That's his role. I've been talking to you about this on Rap Fix on MTV before. Yeah. But did, did you ever want the crown? And, and or do you or do you ever felt like you had the crown? Or Here's how I feel. Like, you know, Hove is an icon, not just, you know, to New York, but to hip hop in yeah. general. You know, he's done so much. Um from an artist standpoint, from a businessman standpoint, um, I, I, of course, you know, he's a king, but I look at the king in New York now where, you know, I, I don't know if it's the king of New York, but there are kings of New York. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I, I feel I'm in that category of kings of New York because when you look at the stable of New York, you, you, you put you know, Biggie, Jay, or whoever, you know, mm -hmm. Diddy and Nas, and, you know, these are kings in New mm -hmm. York, and I'm, mm -hmm. you know, putting myself in the place of those people because of, you know, my track record, what I've done, how how impactful I have been for New York mm -hmm. or, you know, throughout my career. There's certain things of those people who have had that I haven't had or things that I've had that they haven't had, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I don't look at it as me just you know, wearing the crown as the king of New York, but I definitely feel I'm a king of New York. You know what I'm saying? If that makes any well, sense. Who who right now right. could outwrap you from New York? It's not it's not mm -hmm. many guys capable of doing that, that right exactly, now. Exactly. You know. All right. Well, you know. I mean, if someone want to step up and say they can, you come up here and say they that. Can meet me at the Plaza Hotel if they, <laughs> if they feel if they feel you know, bulky right now. <laughs> I got work for them. Got got something for them. Yeah, I got work for them. I don't know. I, I just I don't. I, we had a moment like when Fab first walked in. He just he humble as he said. He doesn't give out that energy. And I stuck my hand out. I said, Hey, Heather. So what's up, Heather B? Just and 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 it was one of the reasons I remember instantly why I always love Fab. That that '90s vibe. He knows his history. He knows his stuff. He talking about Christmas. He talked about being the king. I just need a freestyle. I, okay. I love you. you I, a, I mean, yeah. I do, but I just had. I just want to hear you spit. Like I mean, I, I don't think I, I just, ever spit on. I just want to hear you spit. Like I mean, yeah. it, that's it for me. I, I got all the other stuff, like and I'm and, and you a Scorpio. I get everything from you. I read your bio, your wow. wiki. You told me to check your links. Yeah. I did all that. Okay. I need a verse. You said okay. You said oh shit. All right. What we doing? Shout out Maul on the beat. Yeah. Mm. Some sway Sweat. in the morning. Let's go, baby. We don't play mm -hmm. in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, on some real, I just want that. Look, I've been down this road before. Made it through with no detour. Where I'm from, we go to war. Not them tweets at Soldier Boy. Load up mine, you load up yours. What we need them soldiers for. Ride like I ain't roll before. I changed the name you know me for. You know me for girls at the house, facts of life. Never Hollywood, I'm not about that act of life. I barely ask at all, never had to ask him twice. It's just however do you want it, then it's back to life. Don't call my phone when she come home. Nigga, ask your wife, I killed the pussy, she come back to you in the afterlife. You wanna share your thoughts? Okay, just be mindful that. Click, click, bang, ain't nobody got time for that. Sweet brown shit, on some sweet brown shit. Lord Jesus, it's a fire when I heat down shit. Letting people, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> real shit. Oh, some real shit. Spitting that shit, man. Send her back to life. You caught that man. way? However, do you want it? Man. It's about to get a little deep right there. You want to keep going? Nah, let's just. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. Wow. I think that's the first time we've ever done this, man, on the radio. That was the first time. How did it feel for you? I, I think I was a little <laughs> scared of that 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 uh last line I was about to say. I was about to say letting people take advantage of me is not my style at all. Yeah. You rather ask Bill Cosby for a Tylenol? I think I was, that, that, that line was just it, 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 it choked me up because Bill Cosby was like my black american dad like yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. like that was the that was your yeah. father figure so yeah. when i came up with that line it kind of hurt me a little bit <laughs> you hurt yourself yeah for the sake of the lyric man <laughs> that's that's what i was gonna finish off with yeah it, it, self-inflicted i thought about i thought about bill and it, 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 
<laughs> stumbled me up, man. It, it just. Damn, man, you got a heart. My <laughs> bad, Bill. My you bad, Bill. You said that about Bill. I love the Cosby of, Show, man. man. Damn. You man. too, man. First it was Beverly Johnson, now five. Nah, the Beverly it. thing kind of made it real for me. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Like, yeah. I ain't gonna, that, I, a lot of things was came about, but when Beverly came out, I was like, whoa. Mm. Yeah. I think that happened that for a lot of people, the right? the nail in the coffin, yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. I do. Man, look, fabulous, man. Thank you, sir. Wow, for real. Nah, man, you gotta Thank come you, back sir. too, man. The young OG, when Loso's Way 2 come out, Man, make I'm this done. a mainstay. Yeah, I it's just... your home, and then, you know, and then next time it's your show. We'll run it. You can you can co-host whatever you want to do. Okay, okay. However you want to do. Y'all heard that, right? You can uh -huh. co-host yeah. it, and then we I never go. heard Sway <laughs> offer anybody to co-host if I'm if I'm, you know, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. Oh, no. Mike, Mike Tyson. Yeah, that is, that's a different dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Mike is funny without even trying to be funny. Like, yeah, he's just one of them guys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it, it was a pleasure, man. It was man, a pleasure. pleasure. I we watched the show Thank all the time, man. Thank I came you. in my, my polo today because I, I remember that Kanye, it ain't Ralph, no, you know, yeah, yeah. so you know, <laughs> I had to make sure I came with some <laughs> 90s polo on, you know. Sure it's all Ralph, Kanye. It's yeah, all Ralph. <laughs> you know and but, it but, ain't but, no Ralph, though. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure somebody wearing it. Yeah. Um, you watch that a lot. Yeah, Christmas Day, right? Christmas, Christmas Day. Day. The, the Young OG Young. Project. Download that. Um, you can pre-order it now as well and get two joints. You get Lituation and Ball Drop featuring French Montana. Yeah, hit Fab on Twitter uh, no as doubt. well, man. Tell him you saw, you heard him on Sway in the Morning, man. Thank you for coming by. Yes, yes sir. sir. And don't forget, $100,000 is yours. We're doing this contest called My One Shot. Uh, fabulous. Where mm -hmm. we, you know, me, King Tech, Crooked Eye, partner named Mike, put together 100 k Mm -hmm. And we're gonna give away, give it away to the artists who can give away hundred k, hundred k. Just no mm -hmm. strings attached. There's no deal next to it. If you want an independent, re if you want a record deal, we're gonna offer them that too. Oh, mm. so it's like a hundred k to help them further their independent. Yeah, but, but it's a hundred k to put in their pocket oh, if they win this competition do. Oh, okay. to they do whatever they, they want to do. If they are smart artists, they'll put it into. Their right. own the craft, right? right. Yeah. Uh, MyOneShot.tv. Make sure you sign up, and maybe you could too could win a hundred k. We made a big announcement. RZA is one of celebrity judges. Uh, help me out, Heather. Scarface, Ti, Charlemagne, the God, Tech Nine. Uh, geez, who, who else? I said Drama. DJ Drama. DJ Khaled. Uh. And the list goes on. Yeah, that's hip hop. Right, that's hip -hop. It's yeah, hip hop. Okay. All right. Yo, let me ask you one quick question. Yeah. Are you a fan of battle rap? Hip hop? I well, I came in the game uh, with battle rap, but okay. you talking about the style that's being done yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I hosted the um the total slaughter battle rap, mm -hmm. and um I am a fan of battle rap, mm -hmm. but what I'm not a fan of is people who take someone else's exact style mm -hmm. and don't do anything to mm -hmm. innovate it, change it, switch it up, so on and so forth. So it becomes repetitive right. and almost monotonous to me. Right. So it gets to the point where in some cases, if you see one, you've seen them all. Right. But, you know, in the cases uh, like someone like Arsenal, um, you know, it's a couple guys out there. Yeah, there's a couple guys that got their their niche, their unique style, and you know, it it, it becomes like almost like wrestling. You know how it was Hogan and this Macho Man. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, it, it they had their own styles. I like I like the the unique styles too, yeah. rather than you know somebody who, you know, I think the unique styles stand out too. You know, yeah. those are the leaders of it. You know, what I mean? versus the ones who's copying, right? Right. I, but you know what I'm tired, and I'm tired of this. You know, I take the shoddy boom, 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 boom right. thing, you know. <laughs> to act it out. <laughs> you don't like that sweat. Boom, 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 boom thing, you know. What the fuck is that, man? How many times have we seen that before, wow. right? You whack rappers. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, why do you, you, so you like the guys who, uh. I do. I like, I like the battle rap uh, platform. I like, um, but I, like you said, I do like the guys who, you know, have made a name for themselves off their style. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think that's. Um, it, it, I think those styles have even brought battle rap up, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It, because it was a small, you know, a small thing that, you know, you might see online or, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But those styles made you love, you know, that person and then that, the engagement of them against another style, you know what I'm saying? So Joe Button did it. Um, I know Crooked Eye and, and Joe Ortiz were contemplating doing it. 
Mm-hmm. But I think if you enter that arena, we just uh, saw Cassidy. I don't um, think that's my lane. That ain't your lane? Mm-mm. I, I seen Joe do it, too. I I think I think people cross where, like, being, like, you know, having bars with that platform because you think just to have bars would guarantee you a win, mm-hmm. but it doesn't. It doesn't just guarantee you a win. First of all, as a professional rapper, too, you not saying you can't win, but you have a lot against you mm-hmm. going in that platform, too, because it's not where uh, people always say, oh, that's where I started. Yeah, but you now to the world, that's not where you start. Like, yeah. That's not where you are. Mm-hmm. So you're going in now as the famous underdog, kind of mm-hmm. say, kind of sort of say. So you have to overachieve even to be back on playing field. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's interesting. And Joe, Joe, I think, you know, he has bars, so that's why I think he jumped in there. But people were already like, nah, mm. you're not, especially against Hollow the Dawn. Yeah. You're not going to win against Hollow the Dawn. Mm-hmm. And if you do win, those got to be the craziest three raps you might have ever <laughs> written in your in life. life. You're not yeah. going to win with mediocre raps. Yeah. It just So it's, it's a hard thing for a rapper who is professionally known as a rapper to jump in that world against um and then the fans of it are a little more attached oh, to yeah, battle fans, rap too yeah. like yeah. they want you to go down for you coming in our yeah and our steel cage yeah you think it's sweet over here yeah they you know so you you gotta show and prove to really jump in there not that i'm scared of it i just don't think that it's you know, my lane, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I think that I like the guys and what they do. I like even artists, you know, I think that's a way of them, I guess, sharpening their swords, yeah. so to say, and getting in there and doing that, but nah. it's not going to be a lot of good outcomes for them. <laughs> All right, yeah. Quarter of a million dollars, would you do it? Mm. Nah, probably okay. not. Damn, you must got a lot of money. All right, fabulous, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Give up for Fabulous and Young OG. I still had to think, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. For a second, I'll be battling my ass off.